the launch of the Tibet 100 centenary flame marks a critical milestone in our nation's journey of economic transformation, highlighting the undeniable contribution made by technical and vocational education and training institutions to enhancing our capacity to achieve inclusive growth and equitable development. Today, we reflect on a century of the development of TVETs in Kenya and the role of TVETs in the development of our economy. We also take a moment to consider the path ahead of us and how we can harness the power of TVETs to translate the potential of our youth into positive contributions to economic development and national prosperity. The training on African youth in practical and technical skills began in 1914 in Machakos at the Government African School. However, the first Tibet was founded a decade later when the Native Industrial Training Depot was established in Kabete and mainly trained technicians to work on the railway. In the decades that followed, other Tibets were established at Mawego, Nairobi, Sikalagala, Kaiboi, Thika, Machakos, and Meru. By 2022, 52 constituencies only did not have Tibet institutions. Recognizing their importance in development, we committed to ensure that every constituency has at least one fully equipped Tibet in the next three years. As we celebrate 100 years of Tibet in Kenya, I am delighted to confirm that we are delivering on, the, on this commitment in full. We now have 24 national polytechnics across the country, 13 of which were recently upgraded. And we have 272 technical and vocational colleges with 16 scheduled to be completed this year, 2024-2025. I have instructed the ministry that the remaining constituencies, we must complete, start and complete their tibets in the next two years, so that we live up to our commitment that every constituency in Kenya will have a fully equipped tibet to give opportunity to millions of young people out there who deserve an opportunity to be their best.